welcome to the Featherweight Shop. Today we're going to be addressing the presser foot pressure. That is the downward force from the presser foot onto your fabric. So first let's talk about why that downward force really matters. When the presser foot is lowered and it's compressing the fabric, there needs to be a certain amount of pressure to both feed the fabric and assure that the thickness of the fabric is not stopping, is not stopping a stitch from forming. And just so you can see what I'm talking about, I have a demo throat plate here that has the feed dog area cut out so we can actually see what's happening with the stitch formation. Imagine there's fabric here. When the needle comes down through the fabric, it reaches its lowest point. And you can see that the thread is tight alongside the needle. And when the needle starts to come back up, the thread relaxes and the thread forms a loop. The point of the hook goes through that loop and this is the beginning of how a stitch is made. And of course, if there's no loop for the hook to go through, we won't have a stitch. So if you have multiple layers of fabric causing resistance on the thread, instead of the thread relaxing and forming a loop, those multiple layers of fabric will keep the thread tight and no loop will form and you won't have a stitch. Now this is very common when sewing over a really thick seam. If there's not enough pressure on those layers of fabric, it's like trying to pass your needle through a piece of foam and that resistance keeps that loop from forming and you'll skip a stitch. So to remedy this, we need to add more downward force to the presser foot and that will compress the fabric layers so that the needle can make a clean pass through the fabric with the least amount of resistance so that the loop can form freely. Now, how do we add more downward force? We turn the pressure knob clockwise, which compresses a spring and puts more pressure on the foot. Or, on the other hand, if you were sewing on some very delicate material like fine silk, you would want to reduce the pressure on the foot by turning the knob counterclockwise and raising it up. Otherwise, the feed dogs would really be biting into that silk. So, clockwise to increase the pressure and counterclockwise to reduce the pressure. And if you bottom this pressure knob out, like all the way down like this, and it's still skipping stitches when going over a seam, there are two main reasons that could cause this. Either the spring in here has lost its springiness, or it could be that the presser foot is set at the wrong height. Now, in this video, we're going to, we're going to address how to, how to stretch this spring. And we'll talk about adjusting the foot height in another tutorial. First, you need to know that this procedure only applies to black or tan featherweights. The springs in white featherweights are slightly different and they can't be successfully stretched. Springs in white featherweights just need to be replaced. And when the machine is stored for decades with this foot in the up position and that spring is compressed, it causes the spring to lose its springiness and it needs to be stretched. If you have the Featherweight Shop servicing mat, you can see that spring right here. It's number 45745. And here's how to access that spring. First, remove the faceplate held on by this one thumb screw. Then, unscrew the pressure knob completely from the Featherweight and pull out the internal bar and spring. Put the spring and bar on a white piece of paper, mark both ends with a pencil, and then either wearing gloves or gripping each end with a paper towel, give it a little tug until it's stretched out just a bit, maybe a quarter to a half inch. There, that should be enough. Once it's a little longer, we can return it to the presser bar. Screw the presser knob back down until approximately three threads are showing here on the screw. Replace the faceplate and we're done.
With the spring stretched, we should now have a sufficient amount of downward pressure. Just another tip from the featherweight shop. If you have any questions, just give us a call. Have a great day.